Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here and welcome to more RC video reviews. Today in this video, I am going to introduce and review this mini RC trainer plane. This is a top race three channel RC trainer plane with built in six axis gyro. So it's really easy for beginners and even kids to fly and have fun with it. This plane comes with everything inside the box that you need to get it in the air. Right after charging the battery, you can start flying it and having fun with it. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box when you order the Top Race Mini RC Trainer Plane. We'll talk about its features very, very quickly and take it for a flight right away. This is Top Race Trainer 3 channel remote control airplane with 6 axis built in gyro control. It's built with durable EPP material, comes ready to fly with everything, including 2.4 GSD radio control that offers 320 foot range. So, this is what you get inside the box you have a 2.4 GSD remote control, you have your 3 channel trainer airplane the landing gear and in this little bag you have two spare propellers you have a USB charger to charge the battery of the plane and 180 mAh 3.7 volt LiPo battery and you also got two propeller adapters and motor savers and there is a user manual for your mini trainer as well I see an extra battery already strapped inside the plane right here first off you can add the landing gear just push it in. You might want to adjust the rear dragger wheel. To charge the battery, simply plug the battery in the USB charger and then you can plug the USB charger into any USB port, a computer, a laptop or a wall outlet USB adapter. This is your radio control that also offers to switch the modes from beginner to intermediate and advanced modes. All right, so you have seen the plane and uh, we have talked about its features as well. Uh, to get it ready to fly, just strap the battery in the battery compartment right here. There is no closing the compartment, okay? So this is your throttle, this is your rudder, which is not present in this plane because it's a three channel. To control the yaw, you will control it with this right stick and pitch with this right stick as well, which makes it a little difficult for uh, people who are already flying RC airplanes because they are used to rudder here. So I thought that uh, companies should actually keep the rudder here while the pitch is still here. It will be easier for them to fly. Anyway, here you have beginner mode. Keep the switch all the way towards you. And if you have improved your skills, you can go to intermediate and advanced modes later. But in the beginning, keep it in the beginner mode so that you can fly it with the 6 axis gyro assist and it will be easier. So let's fly it and see how it behaves, how it performs. Today is a little windy, not too windy. Power the plane on by connecting the battery and then turning the radio on. Okay, once the radio is on, check the rudder and elevator. It's moving when you move the plane to counter the movement, which means 6 axis gyro is working. To arm the motor, you have to put the throttle all the way up and down and you will hear the beep. And now, it's armed, ready to fly. Okay, there you go. So all you need to do is give it about full pitch, punch the throttle, and it just gets up in the air. Make sure that you point it towards the air, where the air is coming from that is against the wind and takeoff is really sweet then all right let's give it another try I'm having fun now into the wind that's it punch the throttle and pull on the elevator almost full and it will simply take off beautifully some winds have started which is a good test if the plane handles the winds or not which obviously it handles really well it's a very good glider as well it glides very well it has a very good glide ratio 
I'll keep it closer so you can see the flight performance. Really, it's very, very easy to fly. All I'm doing is steering it around. See? If I want to go right, I just push the stick right. If I want to go left, I just push the stick left. Keeping that I give it a little bit of uh, elevator as well to compensate the pitch drop. Flies really nice. Landing was okay. Hold on. All right, now let's try the hand launch. The wind is changed. Direction is coming from this side. So hold it in hands. Increase the throttle and throw it. Just toss it in the air and start controlling it. It's not easy to fly. Now that we have good takeoff, we should also have some good landings. So let me give it a try. Really nice and responsive, actually, even in intermediate mode. It's very responsive, very easy to fly. I believe even kids can fly it very easily because all you need to do is control it with one stick, the turns, the pitch, while control the throttle at the other with the other stick. So basically makes it very, very easy to fly, less controls to worry about. Reduce the throttle, control the elevator, and it lands superb. All right, I'm going to take off again and we'll try the intermediate and advanced modes, okay? Let's give it a try. Right now I'm in beginner mode, which is the assisted with uh, 6F gyro mode for beginners, okay? I'll make a turn and switch to intermediate mode. It still has the 6 axis stabilization, but it is more agile. The controls are more agile now. You can see the climb rate has increased, the turn rate. So it offers more control in advanced mode, but it's still the gyro is on. Sorry, that was intermediate mode. Now, for the advanced mode, I believe it should turn off the gyro. I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. Uh oh, yeah, that's it. The, the gyro is off in advanced mode. So now, you should be able to do this. Like, you can pull aerobatics. As it's made of EPP strong material, it's not going to break on crashes like this. But as I mentioned that the propellers are specially designed with this kind of piece, which is a propeller saver and also saves the motor. So when you crash, the propeller actually comes off saving the propeller and saving the motor. If they don't have this design, you will either damage the motor or propeller and replace the propellers. But anyway, they have given you extra propellers. Now let me show you how easy it is to fix. Just push it in. You'll hear a click and you're ready to fly. All right, so intermediate mode is still with the gyro control, which you can uh, fly plane easily still and have more control, more authority. The advanced mode gives you acrobatic by turning off the gyro and it becomes a little bit difficult to control. So let's give it a try one more time. So we're going to take off in beginner mode, then I will switch to intermediate, uh, sorry, advanced mode and try some aerobatics again. This is intermediate mode, and in intermediate mode, you can pull loops. Increase the throttle, pull on elevator all the way, and keep it on. It will pull a loop. Now, for the rolls, I'm not sure. Now, I'm still in intermediate mode, which is gyro-based. So, it makes it easier to pull loops. But, if I go all the way manual, that is advanced mode, I can do some crazy things <laughs> pull some more aerobatics in terms of uh, snap roll type of thing and as soon as you're losing control you can basically switch to uh, 
beginner mode immediately beginner mode and instantly the plane becomes a stable and very very easy to control all right time for landing it is really very light right, you have seen how easy this is to fly with three channel only three channels and it actually flies superb not only that it can handle from mild to normal waves it's really a nice uh, park flyer and i believe beginners and kids can really have fun i think i gotta let my six-year-old fly and then see how he can handle it and i'm sure he can handle it just fine but this is the top race three channel mini rc trainer plane the links are in video description if you want to order it go ahead and have fun before you go if you're looking for even more fun RC airplane with comp with full four channel capabilities once again with built-in 6 axis gyro 100% beginner friendly you gotta look at the top race Sky Eagle four channel RC plane video review is obviously next on my channel don't forget to watch it stay tuned come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right